This video has all the information you need to know about 2024 Top Series 1 baseball cards. We're going to talk about the top rookies, all the different formats, and I create a value spreadsheet so you know what format has the best bang for your buck. I'm going to use Beckett because I like their format. First off, this is a 350 card checklist. It was 330 the past couple of years, and now they're back up to 350 cards. We've got a lot of parallels to go over, and I'm going to talk about all of this information when we get to the value sheet part of the video. Independence Day parallels are awesome this year. It's much better than the last couple years another new thing is the true photo cards we've also got holiday parallels and these are only available in blaster boxes you get three of them per blaster box golden mirror image variations are back but this year i think there's a little change it says on tops ripped the golden mirror image variations will feature all 350 base cards with a new image and all gold card backs so i think the backs of the cards are going to be all gold this year which is a nice addition and something new for 2024 is these 1989 inserts have oil board exclusives that are only available in mega boxes two new inserts are grand gamers and superstar blueprints this is the superstar blueprint insert this is the design for major league material this year and if you get super lucky, you could pull a Topps Reverence, and these are on-card autos with game use patches. One of the reasons I like to use the Beckett website is because you can scroll down and they have these little push buttons that you can change and find out the different checklists to the different things. You got the base cards, variations, autographs, memorabilia, inserts, silver pack checklist, and then the team sets. These are really handy for breaks. You'll notice on the checklist, you get the little RC, and those are all the rookies. And a little trick, if you hit Control F and then hit RC, it'll highlight all the rookies for you so you can go through really easily and find all the different rookies. You'll notice that there's 350 cards in the golden mirror image variation checklist. If you scroll down to the team color border variations checklist, there's only 300 cards in that checklist. We've got 137 cards in the 1989 Topps autograph checklist and it goes on and on and on. Baseball stars, 88 card. This includes a lot of the rookies. Then if you get real lucky, you could get a cut auto. There's a 46 card checklist. These are all 101s and they're all players who have a past or a long past. I'm gonna quickly touch on some of the rookies. There are other videos out there that break down the rookies in a lot more detail than I'm gonna do, but we'll start with the S tier rookies. We've got Ellie De La Cruz, a 22 year old shortstop for the Cincinnati Reds. He's a super dynamic player and he's the number one chase in this product. Evan Carter, 21 year old center fielder for the world championship Texas Rangers. And Jason Dominguez, 20 year old, super prospect for the New York Yankees. He gets the Yankees bump, and these are the top three players in the release. Next up in the A tier, we've got Marco Luciano, 22-year-old shortstop for the San Francisco Giants. Sal Freelich, a center fielder for the Brewers. He's 23 years old, real gritty, fun player to watch. And Curtis Mead, a 23-year-old infielder, for the Tampa Bay Rays. Then there's several B tier players. I'm gonna limit it to a few. We're talking about Colton Kowser, 23 year old infielder for the Baltimore Orioles. Christian Encarnacion Strand. He's a power hitting third baseman for the Cincinnati Reds. He's 24. Zach Giloff is a second baseman for the Oakland Athletics, 24 years old. Sadon Raffaella, he's a third baseman for the Boston Red Sox and he's 23 years old. And Henry Davis, former number one overall pick, catcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. There's all kinds of other rookies, so I'm sure you can find a few more probably some that play for your team. There's all kinds of formats, more than I've ever seen before. We're gonna start with the display boxes. I'm using Steel City Collectibles because they have all the different formats, but we can look at the prices and look at what they have to offer. These are the 20 pack retail boxes. They're 85 bucks. And these are the little thin hanger packs that you'll see sometimes set up in like a Walmart. And you can also get a complete sealed box. Hanger boxes, there are 59 cards and it's one single pack. You can get exclusive yellow parallels. Fat packs, these are available in retail. Most of this stuff I'm showing you right now is retail. 36 cards per pack and a fat pack. And typically these have been a great value. Blaster boxes, we've got multiple variations of the blaster box. There are ones that you can get at Walmart and Target. And then there's Fanatics exclusives. These are the Fanatics boxes and these have Aqua parallels that are exclusive just to the Fanatics boxes. There are actually nine packs in these instead of seven. I'm gonna talk about these a little more in depth when we get to the value sheet because there's a lot to talk about. We've also got monster boxes or mega boxes, whatever you wanna call them, but there are a couple different forms of these as well. And super boxes, these are super fun for the kids. And they include one oversized base card, a companion card, five base silver crackle parallels, 10 stars of MLB cards, and one wrapped enamel pin per box. Chase retail exclusive hits. We'll talk all about those. The odds are no longer included on boxes or packs. Hasn't been this way for a little while now. You have to go to tops.com and they have all the odds on the website. There are 22 pages of odds and numbers and the amount of different formats that there are 
is mind blowing. Hobby boxes, jumbo boxes, display boxes, which have those individual hanger packs. It says hanger pack, but these are actually the hanger boxes. And there are two different kinds. There's EA and there's SE. I think these are different depending on if it's Walmart or Target. Bulk packs, fat packs, value boxes. These are blaster boxes and there are two different, well, there are actually three different kinds. There's EA, SE, and then Fanatics value boxes. Then you have to scroll down about halfway and there's a whole new row of formats. And right about here, we get to dollar store packs, giant target box, Walmart monster box, grocery shipper pack, super box, fanatics box, value box direct. And I think these are probably the blaster boxes that they sell on tops.com. Monster box direct and little league non-revenue pack. Now let's jump into these numbers. I'm gonna make it so that it's easily digestible for you. Now we're onto the value spreadsheet and the top row here are the different formats. The second row is the dollar per format and these numbers are gonna change over time. So if you're watching this at a later date, these numbers are probably gonna be a little bit different. The cards per format, the dollar per card, the amount of packs, cards per pack, price per pack, and then we get into the odds and some of the different parallels and things that you can get. Let's first talk about the dollar per card. You'll notice that green is good, red is bad, and the best bang for your buck is gonna be out of a fat pack. 19 cents per card. That's assuming I got, I got all these numbers right. If these things change even a little bit in price, then it's gonna change, but pretty much the fat pack is designed to be your value buy. So best dollar per card at 19 cents per card. Worst dollar per card, jumbo box. But we understand this because you get the three guaranteed hits, autograph and two relics. So it's gonna be a little bit more expensive dollar per card. And then there's hobby. This is always the worst format dollar per card, but this is base cards we're talking about here. And the second best retail format is going to be out of a hanger box from a dollar per card standpoint. So if you're looking just to open up a pack for cheap and you want good value, fat pack hanger box is gonna be the way to go. We're gonna find out what the best value per parallel is gonna be. Now, if you're looking for autographs, Jumbo Box is going to be the way to go. Hobby is going to be a more affordable alternative at $90 a box. Like I said, these prices may go up or down, but currently you're going to get a guaranteed hit out of a Hobby Box. It's going to be an autograph or a relic. Now, you can get autographs out of the retail formats. They're just really difficult pulls. I'm going to briefly touch on all of these numbers, but there's something deeper that we have to talk about, and it's format exclusives. So on the surface, it appears that the best bang for your buck all around is going to be a mega box. I see a lot of green in this column, and it's got a reasonable dollar per card. Mega boxes also have exclusives that we're going to talk about. Another pretty good bang for your buck looks like the Fanatics box. And this is because you get more cards than a regular blaster box. You'll see that you get 108 cards. There's actually nine packs in a Fanatics box and a regular blaster box only has seven packs and you get 84 cards. So it's a little, bit, a little better dollar per card, a little better dollar per pack. And the odds are the same for a few of the parallels too. They start to change after you get away from the royal blue and the rainbow foil. Another thing I noticed is the HFAs have the same pack odds across formats, pretty much the same. 229 out of a hanger box instead of 228. So what that tells you is the cheapest pack is gonna be the best way to pull an HFA, which right now appears to be a Fanatics box. It's one in 228 packs for an HFA, so that makes it $759 equivalent to pull an HFA. The next best is out of a blaster box, the worst is out of a jumbo box because these packs are the most expensive packs. It's actually a tie with the hanger box at $16 a pack. So two very expensive ways is jumbo box and hanger box to pull HFAs. Regular old blaster boxes are the best way to get royal blues and rainbow foils. These are gonna be the easiest to pull parallels and blaster boxes are the way to go for those. It's only slightly more in a Fanatics box, essentially the same. And then the other formats of retail are about the same. The super boxes are the worst. You'll see here that the super box is not a great way to go when it comes to pulling parallels and a dollar per card because of all the extras that you get. And also the hanger boxes, something weird happens here where it's a, it's a pretty poor way of getting the easy parallels, but it gets better as you get down towards the orange crackle, red crackle, and harder to pull parallels. It's actually a, a okay, if not good way of pulling the better, tougher to pull parallels. And a surprise is the display box at $85 is actually pretty bad all around for pulling parallels. I think you might see this drop in price. If this drops in price, it's gonna go from being one of the worst formats to one of the best formats. Like if you happen to see those on sale or like $69.99, uh, that would be a good format to swoop up. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this spreadsheet and I'm gonna turn it into this. Shrink it down a little bit so we can see everything. What I did here is I added all of the exclusives per format or at least all of them that I could come up with. They changed it up big time this year and actually I like it. I think this is the way it should be. It should be a hunt, it should be a chase. You should have to seek out a particular format to get a particular parallel and we're gonna go over all that right now. Starting with hobby. The only thing that you can only get out of a hobby box and nothing else are the clear cards. Clear cards are numbered to 10. It's a clear acetate card, super collectible. One of the best rookie cards that you can get is gonna be a clear acetate, and you can only get those out of hobby boxes, but also hobby and jumbo have the black parallels only. So those cards are numbered to 73, highly collectible, black parallel, really tough to gem up because of those black borders. The number goes up every year. So yet last year they're numbered to 72, the year before 71. This year, they're numbered to 73. Also, the silver packs. The silver packs are one of the top reasons why you would buy a hobby format. You can get autographs in the silver packs, and you can also get parallels. The silver packs have a 100-card checklist, and there's 78 different autographs you can get out of there. You get two silver packs in a jumbo box and one silver pack in a hobby box. So you have to account for that in some way, and I didn't do that on this spreadsheet, but the easiest way to do it would be to take about... $20 off per silver pack a piece. That's about what a silver pack goes for on the secondary market. So then you're talking about $120 for a jumbo box and $70 for a hobby box if you take the silver pack out and sell it. The display box doesn't have anything that only a display box has in it, but it does have retail exclusives. The retail exclusives are the Royal Blue Parallel, this is unnumbered, Purple Foil Board, and those are numbered to $7.99, and Blue Foil Board, those are numbered to $9.99. But we already talked about it, display boxes aren't the best value. Hanger boxes, however, we've got a lot to talk about. Historically, hanger boxes are the way to go. In the past, they had yellow exclusives that were only out of Walgreens particular boxes. Well, they discontinued the yellows out of the Walgreens boxes, and now they brought them back, but they're in all hanger boxes. Not only do you get the yellows, well, let's start with royal blue. So you get all retail formats have the royal blue exclusives. You get the yellow that we just talked about, and you get two of those per hanger box. But you also get yellow crackle, and yellow crackle is numbered to 50. You get purple foil board and blue foil board, just like you do in all the other retail formats. Fat packs, another format. Doesn't have anything exclusive, just the royal blues, purples, and blues. Blaster boxes, this is where things get really interesting because they brought back the holiday exclusives. Last year around update series release, they brought these Halloween exclusives. There were different uh, fall parallels that you could get out of only blaster boxes. Well, they brought that back, but this time it's a spring theme. So not only do you get the royal blues, purple foil board, blue foil board, but you also get these holiday cards. So there's regular holiday variations, but there's also eggs, rabbits, flowers, umbrella, watering can, and roses. Those fall three per blaster box on average. So if we look at all these numbers, we're looking at a 30 cent per card cost. We're getting good value on the royal blue and rainbow foil parallels. We're not getting good value on the rest of the parallels, except for HFAs, which is an insert. We are getting very good value on that. So it's a good format for Royal Blue, Rainbow Foil, HFA, and then we've got all these exclusives. Blaster boxes are gonna be loaded, but rivaling the blaster box is the mega box. Now mega boxes historically have been a really good bang for your buck, and it looks like it might be the best bang for your buck when it comes to all the normal parallels. It's actually a pretty good way to pull HFAs as well. And mega boxes have new exclusives. These are called mega stars, and the mega stars have parallels of their own, and they also have 1989 Topps Baseball exclusives that are in the mega boxes. So if you're looking for a really good bang for your buck from a parallel chase standpoint and exclusives, mega box is gonna be a good way to go. Super boxes, we've already touched on this just a little bit. They look like this, and you get an oversized card. These are kind of geared towards the kids. It reminds me of a Pokemon box, but you get one oversized base card, a companion card, five base Silver Crackle Parallels, 10 stars of MLB, one wrapped enamel pin, the kids like the pin, and also retail exclusive hits. And I noted right here that you get Silver Crackle Parallels. It's the only place that you can get the Silver Crackle. These are unnumbered parallels, formerly known as an ice parallel. The Fanatics box. Now, this was somewhat of an enigma for me because this is the first time they've had anything like this, but it appears to be in a blaster box format. It's got the Fanatics logo on there. And we get Aqua Base Card Parallels, only place you can find aqua parallels. Also, nine packs, 
12 cards per pack as opposed to seven packs, 12 cards per pack. Here's a little secret. You cannot get the holiday parallels in the Fanatics box. Otherwise, I would say that the Fanatics box is the best way to go, but you can't get regular holiday, egg, rabbit, flower, umbrella, watering can, or roses out of the Fanatics box. However, they do have an exclusive redemption card that you can only get in this format. It looks to be authentic autograph memorabilia that you get a redemption card and then they'll ship this to you. The one they're showing right here is an Adley Rushman autograph baseball. That seems awesome. I don't have a checklist for this, but it sounds amazing. And you'll see that we get all the normal retail exclusives, Royal Blue, Purple, Foil Board, Blue Foil Board. Over here, I called it Blue Hollow Foil. They call it Hollow Foil. Some places call it Foil Board. The Aqua, these would be unnumbered. And then the Redemption card. Now, all in all, I think it might be one of the best, if not the best format based on all of these things. The Redemptions are really hard to pull, though. You'll see right here, Fanatics Authentic Redemption. Those are one out of 2,254 packs and one out of 251 boxes. So it's gonna be a real tough pull. But the overall odds are pretty good in the Fanatics box. And it's also the best way to pull an HFA because of the price per pack. And it's an okay, kind of right around the middle dollar per card. I hope you guys were able to get something out of this. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you want to become a member of the Patreon group and get in on the breaks. A link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.